There you have it, guys. Oh. Try this again. There you have it, guys. Ah! <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. We are in my kitchen today because I'm gonna share with you guys what I put in my water. One of my goals this year was to start drinking more water and the only way that I do do it is if I flavor the water. Now I do this every single morning, most of the time. If not, I always do it before bed. I think it's really important to do it before bed, but it's also important to drink your water in the morning too because it just gets you going in the morning, it gives you energy, and water just has great benefits for you. It's great for your skin, it makes you feel good, and it's just... It's something that your body needs to keep hydrated. This might sound strange to some people, but the reason why I have a hard time drinking water is because I don't like the taste of it. So that is why I flavor it. I'm gonna go over everything that I add in my water, and there's so many other different ways to flavor your water. You can add different types of fruits, you can add a cucumber, there's, I mean, the list goes on. Also, before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know that I am not an expert, I am not a doctor, I am not a nutritionist, I just do a lot of research online and I read a lot of reviews online. And you also wanna make sure that the ingredients that you use are organic, raw, and unfiltered. When I drink my water, I always use a glass container because it's just better for you than the plastic. And I got this at Chapters Indico, and I like it because you take out the inside of it, and this is where you add your fruit, your lemon, your mint, whatever you wanna add into your water. You add your water in here, you pop it back in, and it is travel, well, it's not travel friendly because it's glass, but I'm not scared that this is going to leak in my bag, and it hasn't ever, so. I love to flavor my water with fruit. I don't do it all the time. A majority of the time, I will just use mint and lemon, and I always make sure it is organic. You can find organic um, stuff in most grocery stores now, which is really nice. And I find that organic food is getting, I mean, it's still expensive, but I feel like it's not as expensive as it used to be. Do you guys feel the same way? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so you guys are probably thinking, Lisa, you add lemon and you add mint in your water. I know a lot of people that do that too. What is so special about your water? I'm gonna tell you guys right now. You are going to need some organic apple cider vinegar, and you are also going to need some organic baking soda. And I know that sounds kind of funny, but these two pair together work miracles for your body. If you are on a weight loss and you are looking for something that is gonna help you on your journey, then I definitely recommend drinking a water like this. When I drink this water before bed, the next morning, I'm not bloated. My stomach is flatter than it was the day before. I just think it is a miracle, miracle product. I'm gonna share with you guys how I mix everything together. The first thing that I like to do is just add my lemon and my mint in my container, and then I just close off the top. Then I will take my baking soda and I only use a pinch of baking soda. That is all you need in your glass of water. And there are so many different ways that you can take baking soda and apple cider vinegar. Some people just mix it together and just drink it straight like that, but I always like to add it in my water and I don't add as much baking soda as some people do. So you can see the baking soda at the bottom of my glass water bottle. Then we are going to add our apple cider vinegar. Now you wanna make sure when you buy both baking soda and apple cider vinegar that it is raw and unfiltered. That is very, very important. And then I'm gonna take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and before I pour this in, I just wanna show you guys how it reacts together. You will see it actually fuzzing up. So, let's see. Can you guys hear that? So let it fuzz up, let it do what it's gotta do. <laughs> and there you go. So now I'm gonna share with you guys what kind of water I use. Now. Okay, so here is the water system that I actually use and I keep this in my pantry and I have to keep it on a stand. It's actually quite big and it's really, really heavy. And then you add your water in top, on top here and you guys can see, let me just put this handle down or the lid down, sorry. 
so I can show you guys the inside. So you can see it has these two black filters in here. Now the filters in here are really, really, really tiny. They are so small that they actually can remove food, red food coloring from the water. Now, when I first got this system, that's exactly what I had to do. I had to fill this thing up and I had to run the water a few times just to kind of clean it out. And after you have uh, cleaned it out once, you add your food coloring inside here. And when the water comes out, if it is not red, that means it is ready to drink. This thing is amazing. I actually got this for my birthday um, from my mother, so I have her to thank. I use this to cook and drink. My kids drink out of it, and the reason why I love this so much, you guys, is because the filters in here, they don't need to be replaced that often. There are two, or I think there's three filters. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but one of the filters you have to replace once a year, and I believe the other one is every three years. Now they do say to test this out every three to six months with some red food coloring just to make sure that it is still working. So this water system and the filters in here actually remove viruses, pesticides, harmful chemicals, heavy metals, fluoride, like you name it, your water is going to be clean and it's gonna be safe for your family. So I went ahead and added in the water. Now you can definitely smell the baking soda and the apple cider vinegar, but that is why I always add mint and some lemon because it's gonna be easier to drink. Now you can definitely just go ahead and drink it this way. And I mean, the taste is actually not that bad. I do recommend maybe drinking it not, I like my water to be cold, but not too, too cold when I'm drinking this. So I will keep this overnight in the fridge. I will leave it out for about 20 minutes in the morning and it's good for me to drink. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just add in the lemon in the mint. I always make sure that I have this in the fridge. This way I don't have to worry about making it. It's already made for me right when I wake up in the morning. And then after I'm done drinking this, I will make another one and have it ready for nighttime before I go to bed. There you have it guys, that's what I put in my water. I call it my miracle water because that's exactly what it is. This is something that I've been doing for the past four or five years on and off, but I've been really consistent about it since February and I'm telling you, I am addicted. My body craves it, it needs it because I just feel better, my skin looks better, and I have a lot more energy. So I, this is just something that I will probably do for the rest of my life. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and maybe I inspired some of you to start drinking some more water with me. And let me know if you're going to try this drink out in the comments down below. And if you have any other questions, I'm going to be leaving a website on the benefits of apple cider vinegar and baking soda if you guys wanna do a little bit more research before you start taking this drink. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,